Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see what happens if one dollar becomes one rupee. It sounds fantastic that wow, one dollar is equal to one rupee. Yeah, that's fine. India is going to be a dollar food country, but can this really happen? Well, it may occur. There are possibilities of three ways. Let's go to way number one. If in overnight one dollar becomes one rupee, assuming that you are a software engineer and the average salary of a software engineer in India is rupees fifty thousand rupees, you will get iPhone X at rupees thousand only, and laptops which worth rupees fifty thousand will will only get at rupees eight hundred. Similarly, all electronic gadgets will cost you below thousand rupees only. Now. Coming to food products, the price of the food products will be as usual. That is, if you take thousand rupees, you will get the same stuff as you get today. Now, when coming to jobs, now an average software engineer earns fifty thousand per month. The real game starts now. An average software engineer in USA earns eight thousand dollars per month. All the IT companies are mostly US based. If a software engineer in USA takes eight thousand per month. Then why companies will provide fifty thousand per month in India? So all the IT companies will lay off all of its employees in India and focus on USA or some other countries where people work for lesser salary. And at least forty million people become unemployed within a week. Within a week, and inflation increases in India. So now, an Indian software engineer. will work only for lesser salary itself now an average software engineer salary becomes 5000 that is your income falls from 50000 to 5000 do you have loan in the bank for example if you have loan of worth rupees 20 lakhs then do you think you can clear the loans with your salary most of the indians prefer foreign products as foreign products will be cheaper than the indian products indian products become costlier and costlier day by day because indian products will be manufactured in india they need to provide higher salaries to their employees and result in shutdown of most of the companies and results in the fall in the indian economy way number 2 it is a bit simple process similar to demonetization india should provide a new currency and the name of the currency may be something like new indian rupee that is nir now all the people in india will try to exchange their previous money that is if one nir is equal to 100 rupees now the value of one nir that is one new indian rupee will be equal to 1.5 us dollars that's all it's over now one in new indian rupee will be equal to 1.5 us dollars but this process has no use except to say that the indian currency is higher than the us dollar and number 3 this can be achieved by increasing the productivity of a country by having better human development index why america is richer than india america is richer than india because it has better productivity and better human development index if india is able to achieve this better productivity and better human development index we can achieve 1 dollar is equal to 1 rupee human development index is a property which can be used to know whether a country is developed or not can we decide the strength of a country using its currency the answer is no we cannot decide the strength of a country using its currency for example considering the following well developed countries in the world like japan china hungary and south korea one indian rupee is equal to 1.63 japanese yen one indian rupee is equal to 9 chinese peso one indian rupee is equal to 3.80 hungarian forint one indian rupee is equal to 16.14 south korean one but does this mean that india is well developed than all these countries no india is still a developing country currency is just measured in different units it's not related to the development of a country development of a country depends upon its productivity what to do now you not to make your country developed exports of a country should be maximized which results in maximum production inside the country and results in more employment and reduce the inflation in your country so try to start your own company and provide employment to some of the people in your country or support the products that are manufactured inside in your country
so which can provide which can provide maximum employment inside your country if you like this video please subscribe like and share it thank you very much in my next video we are going to discuss what happens if we do time travel and is it really possible for more updates please subscribe my channel thank you